Delve on Egb, Silver's journey forged in arrows. Silver Green's father worked with Nikola Tesla. Silver's father would often hand her small wires and coils, guiding her as she learned the principles of electricity. Her mother taught her the properties of minerals and herbs, showing her how the natural world could be both a mystery and a solution. These lessons would stay with Silver for the rest of her life, shaping her understanding of the world and providing comfort during her darkest days. While Silver's mother was lab assistant to Maria Salomir S. Godelska Curia Polish and naturalized French physicist and chemist, who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity and the discovery of the elements polonium and radium. Silver's parents instilled in her at an early age a love of nature and the scientific process. One day, while the family was traveling through Laredo, Texas, they were set upon by savage Cherokee natives. Her parents' cries of anguish as they shielded her with their bodies haunted Silver every night. Amidst the chaos, her mother's final words had been an urgent plea, protect the light, Silver. The meaning of those words eluded her, but she knew it was connected to the work they were doing before her birth. Her parents were impaled in a hail of arrows while they defended their precious baby, Silver, who was eight years old at the time of the tragedy. She was enslaved by the wild natives who called her Adelv Anev Ardela Unega, which means Silver in Cherokee, and was forced to do all of the harsh labor and menial tasks in their camp, including digging and cleaning out the latrines, washing clothes and dishes, tanning animal hides and burying the dead among other things. As a young child, Silver Green struggled to adapt, but over the years, she developed remarkable resilience and a sharp mind. Silver was adopted by the chieftain and his family. The chieftain whose name is Weir, meaning wolf, a name associated with strength, leadership and protection of the tribe, and had a daughter whose name is Ahioka, meaning she brought happiness, perfect for a daughter who brings joy to her family or tribe. While her vicious Cherokee captors viewed her only as a tool for their needs, Silver Green quietly observed everything about their ways, customs and behaviours how they hunted, how they communicated, and how they survived in the unforgiving wilderness. Not all the Cherokee were cruel, however. Where, the chieftain, showed moments of warmth, especially toward his daughter Ahilker, and eventually, toward Silver herself. But the older warriors never let her forget she was a captive, a tool for their sadistic and perverted use. It was this duality that made her survival all the more complicated. Silver learned to tread carefully, knowing whom to trust and whom to deceive. Ahilker, the chieftain's daughter, taught Silver the Cherokee language, often whispering words of encouragement, while they worked together in the fields of corn or maize. They often quietly laughed at night, sharing dreams of freedom, even though Silver's definition of freedom was vastly different from Ahilker. Although Silver became friends with the chieftain's daughter, Ahilker, she also found solace in the natural world surrounding her. The greens, trees, and open skies became her silent companions. Throughout the years, her body grew strong, and life and the physical demands placed upon her, and her spirit remained unbroken, fueled by the memories of her massacred family. The night Silver left, she hesitated for the briefest moment, thinking of her dear friend Ahilker asleep in the next hut. As she reached her teenage years, Silver Green began to formulate a plan for escape. She used her intelligence to subtly gain the trust of some of the tribe members including Ahilker, learning their language and customs while hiding her true intentions to herself. The lines between hatred and admiration blurred as the years passed. The Cherokee taught her how to move like a shadow through the forest, how to live with the land rather than against it. In her heart, Silver knew she was no longer the child her parents had raised, but neither was she a true member of the tribe. She was something in between an outsider, always. One fateful night, under the cover of darkness, Silver Green seized her opportunity. She fled the camp with nothing but the survival skills she had honed over the years. As she fled into the darkness, every snapping twig and rustling leaf felt like the footsteps of her pursuers. She knew they would hunt her where was too proud to let his adopted daughter simply disappear into the night. But Silver had learned their ways, their signals. She doubled back, crossed rivers, and moved silently through the underbrush, praying that the skills they had taught her would now ensure her survival. Alone and free, she wandered the wilderness, determined to forge a new path and discover the truth about her heritage. Silver's journey wasn't just about revenge. 
The memories of her parents' work drove her forward there were discoveries they had been on the verge of making. She vowed to find out what they had died protecting, and in doing so, perhaps she could honour their legacy. The world had tried to break her, but Silver Green would rebuild herself, piece by piece. Silver Green vowed to seek justice for her parents and carve out her own place in a world that had tried to destroy her.